Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today. And in today's GarageBand for iPhone quick tip, we're gonna take a look at using the volume, the mute, the solo, and the pan to help you mix and control your track. So let's get started. Now this view should be pretty familiar if you've used GarageBand before. This is our track view. So if we simply hit play, we hear our tracks playing back. But you might be looking at this going, well, how do I actually control? Where's my mixer view so that I can mix this track and change the volumes and actually control a little better? So if you look at the little slide out button that we have here, we can actually pull to the side and open up this extra set of options. So what we have here is we have the ability to mute, to solo and to change the volume of each of these tracks. The one thing is missing here is the pan. So if you've used a mixer before, you'd know that these are fairly common, but you've also usually got a, an abil the ability to adjust between the left and the right. You can do that in GarageBand, it's just a little different. I'll show you that in a moment. So if we go back to the start here and hit play, we can adjust these volume faders, put the drum track down, back up, bring the guitar a bit louder, back down into the mix. So anytime you're recording and uh, putting together a project, then you can come in here and actually mix it by adjusting the faders. And obviously there's a lot more to mixing than that, but if it's uh, if you're new to GarageBand and you wanted to work out how to do that, that's how you go about it. The other options that we have in here are our mute and our solo buttons. So if we play back again, what I'm gonna do is I'm firstly gonna show you how to mute a track. So if we hit play, and we wanna hear just the drums, let me rephrase that, we want to not hear the drums, we can hit mute on that track. And if we go to the other tracks, we can mute as many as we want until we're left with just our nice cinematic strings at the bottom there. Unselect the mute and they all come back. We can do the same with solo. So solo is the reverse of mute. So solo will solo a particular track, but we can also solo a number of tracks as well, which doesn't really make sense, but it's the way it works. Hit play, let's solo our drums. Our drums are now solo, let's add another instrument, put our guitar back in. Put our little synth keys back in there as well. And then as soon as we have no solo, everything's playing again. Now the one final thing here is to pan. So panning is a little bit tricky and what we have to actually do is do this in our track settings. So if we wanted to, for instance, push this guitar over to the left, We've selected the guitar here, and we'll come up to the spanner, which is our settings for this track. And we go to, oh, wrong one. We go to this one, which is the setting for our track. Sorry, that's the overall settings. This is our track settings. You can see here we have track volume, and that is simply a replication of our fader over here. So either of those that we do, we can't do that one now, but either of those that we do is going to impact the track volume. We've also got our mute and solo here, which will do the same thing there. And then we've got this, which is our track pan. So if we pan that, we can pan it all the way to the left, all the way to the right, or somewhere in between. So if I push this over towards the left, um, and then go back to here, now you're not gonna hear this, because I'm recording this in mono, um, but what it will do, if you put headphones on and listen to that, it'll put the guitar right over to the left, and then you can, you can do your stereo mix by putting some instruments to the left, to the right, and the center, and do it that way. You would have also noticed that there's other options in there on the track, such as your reverb and echo and treble compressor, etc. And we'll get into that in another video. So that's just a quick overview of how to use the volume, the mute, the solo and panning to get your project sounding really good at the point of mixing. I hope you enjoyed this uh, and tune in for more videos very soon.